This might be one of the craziest takes I've ever seen in my life. Oh my God. And believe me, I've heard some wild takes. Like people trying to say that Gunna's new album is the best of all time. Right now, Gunna's best ever. It is right now. Y'all saying bro ruin one family and get slightly racist. Come on, man. He's getting away. Boy, you better keep your black ass right here. But Peter, I... Nigga. And suddenly, y'all already handed him the award for spider Menace of the Decade. Meets Web of Shadows Spider-Man. The biggest menace in Spider-Man history. Who? It's okay. I'm about to educate you on a true menace. You can already tell this story about to be crazy. They got my boy Peter walking nonchalant just letting folks get fucked up. Yeet. Ah! But as a lot of stories start, that was the future. We gotta take you back to the past. Harder. And oh my God, we should've stayed in the future. Yo, Pete, I can't be calling you the biggest menace in Spider-Man history and you can do it like this, bruh. I'm assuming Venom just knocked Spider-Man out. Venom really out here remaking scenes from Friday. Venom. Dang! Nah, this ain't my goat no more. Hey, Yuri Bandwagon, here I come. That morning, everything changed. <laughs> You cannot be a grown man letting another grown man dangle your body in the air like that with one hand. Bro, he's really palming you. You his son for real. I'm feeling hungry. Help. Nah, 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 nah. Yo, Eddie, I gotta give you that same treatment. You can't be a grown man licking your tongue at another grown man. Oh, oh hell no! Then you look down. Eddie Brock, what are you looking at? You're staying at bro's meat. Well, FYI, TK, symbiotes tend to eat living. Cut the cameras. Eddie. What? Y'all already know I had to hype up Venom's three second of fame. Venom, get ready for a world of pain. No matter how many times I watch that, that cutscene will always be peak. And also to throw a quick hot take, that is the best symbiote transformation you ever gonna see. Then this man, Peter, proceeds to easily lift a car and toss it at Venom. I like how Venom just standing here watching it like he finna catch it. You know you got hit crazy when your tongue hanging out your mouth. You can tell Peter's that one friend when you play him in a fine game, he don't try to learn no new combos or nothing. He just go straight to spamming. Bro didn't try to utilize none of his new symbiote powers or anything. His first idea was to toss a car. You know what? I will give Yuri his props. At least when bro got his symbiote, he was actually trying to showcase his moves. Well, but Shadow's Peter like, nah, bro. Hold these BBCs. This man, Venom, proceeds to pull a common made villain move. I will take the girl from you. I hate when they can't win a fight and decide, bro, let me go for the woman. I can't catch this fade like a man. Of course, I know these people are villains. This is a common villain tactic, but this is my point. Both of y'all are men. Are you telling me your op just beat you so bad to where you realize mentally you can't hit with him, so you gotta go for the woman? I'm just saying, Venom, where is your manhood? You gotta spin back with some bows. But this goes back to the main topic of the video. Peter sees this man stumbling. He could easily subdue Venom at this point. What do you think he proceeds to do to stop him? Then my boy proceeds to go Dom one more time. Brock, look at me when I talk to you. No count, if I was Venom in this scene, Peter would've had to kill me. When I tell y'all the way I would have started laughing uncontrollably when I seen bro hit this pose, I cannot take you serious, my guy. So Venom then proceeds to hit Peter with that. Time you turn your back, I'm gonna hit the dash and spin back later. Is she okay? I got your birthday present. But then there was this loud noise. Let me go ahead and put on my big boy britches and say this now. I straight up hate MJ in this game. For the MJ defense force that just spawned in, get off y'all knees. She not gonna let any of y'all goons hit. And for the 2% who's curious why, when I tell you MJ in this game is more useless than Aqua for Konusaba, this book will be my receipt to let y'all know I'm not making stuff up. MJ is trash in this game. So then MJ is hospitalized by doing absolutely nothing. I mean, bruh, useless. <laughs> So Aqua 2.0 is being taken to the hospital, but she can wait. And while we got this opportunity, I want y'all to look at this. You can't tell me this ain't the stance of a YB fan. The black suit really got this man thinking he black. And look at the aggression in the fingertips. This the aggression of a man. Was this riding all you do? Okay, back to the story. This is the part where you learn that New York City has basically been turned into Chicago Simulator. Or you could say friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. I'm in the middle of a gang war. Good times. I understand Venom, but throwing a car at a regular human is beyond bunkers. Hold up! 
my brother in Christ, what are you aiming at? My man literally blindfolded himself, jumped back, and started letting off hot lead. See, Tom Fuller like this is the reason y'all ops be up on the score like 21 to 5. So after Spider-Man gets done with the light work, you get to witness another cold introduction. And speaking of introductions of characters, this game don't miss. You got depressed Spidey setting the tone for this game. You got Venom already about to pack this man up. You got MJ. And then you got Luke Cage doing this? Luke Cage stood stone still. Tell me why y'all missed so many bullets that the car blew up. Yeah, just put your gun down. This the wrong occupation for you, my boy. So now, with the help of Luke Cage, the fight wasn't fair before, but now this gotta be bullying. Spider-Man and Luke just formed the ultimate duo for real. So once those stains on society are cleaned up, Luke Cage then informed Spider-Man that the only reason he's here is because he's been tracking the gang members trying to stop drive-bys. He's basically trying to stop their Stevie Wonder aim from killing innocent civilians. Luke also reveals that his main goal is to get each gang to see eye to eye. Hey Luke, my boy, this is not an anime. This ain't nothing but a pipe dream. Luke sends Spider-Man to save the leader of the Rolling Sevens from a drive-by. Matter of fact, I don't even get why he's running. It's not like they gonna hit you. At this point, Luke Cage might as well be sending Spider-Man on hits. Spider-Man really just casually killed these people to save the gang leader. I bet you Peter gets hit with a Rico. What did I do? You'll be pleased to know that I heard from the leader of the Rolling Sevens. He agreed to a parlay. You want me to set up a play date with the other gang leader? Tell him the other side agreed to come to the park tonight at sundown. No guns. Bro said no guns like that's about to work. Wait, hold up. Why are you giving orders like you're some type of mafia boss? Get your black Mr. Clean looking ass out there and put in some work too. Complete the mission. But Spider-Man folded under pressure and proceeded to roll up on the park avenues. Bro, please, bro. Why are you... How you gonna do his boys like that, then request the audience? Bro, the seven started all that. They killed my cousin. And you hit back at them and so on. I know Peter didn't basically just say F your dead cousin. I'm saying that you, the leader of the Rolling Sevens, and Mr. Cage are gonna have a little sit down, a little chat. Sevens agreed. Yes, they did. And I suggest you do the same. You can tell this man scared right now. Because how come when Peter said that last line, his leg raised instinctively in submissiveness? Or Mr. Cage, the police, and yours truly are all gonna be your new best friends. But why? To put it simple, he punk bro out. Now that both gang leaders are set up, in the next scene, you get to see the true essence of a menace. So Spider-Man comes to watch over the meeting, but then he feels a disturbance in the force. Spidey sense, there. He sees these weird super soldier dudes pull up and get ready to light somebody up like a Christmas tree. No cap, y'all boys already looking like frauds. How y'all gonna pull up with the clearly stolen Halo suits and Halo weapons and still get one tap? <laughs> so Spider-Man proceeds to catch one by releasing his webbing on him, and then he notices this. What's this? Oh no, the whole gang war was a setup. So then it shows how the gang meetup is going. Oh, talk, Cage. Every hero I ever met just used me for a punching bag. We had a deal. I gotta do what I gotta do. With or without me, my crew is taking down the sevens. I said no guns. And shut your so as these two idiotes are getting ready to kill each other, Spider-Man has an option. He could either show them the evidence and stop this, or he could take the minutes path and not say a thing. And you're probably wondering, what does he gain from doing the second option? <laughs> I think this will perfectly explain it. Nigga think I'm fighting to save the day. But really, nigga, I just like to fight! Time Spider-Man decides not to tell them your ears get awakened with the sound of an ever Saturday night in Chirac. Is that a RPG? Did you just tank that? This is my favorite version of Peter, but no cap, I cannot lie for him. The fact that Peter knows how hard Luke Cage is working to stop these boys from killing, and he still chose to do this. Yeah, when it comes to the tearing of Rex, my goat is up there. Then here comes Luke pressing like one of those African dads. What are you doing? This solves nothing. Actually, Luke, this solves everything. I mean, is Spider-Man technically- Man, shut You knew this whole turf war was a setup? You asked me to clean up the streets, and that's exactly what I did. Maybe they'll all share a cell. I mean, Luke, you really can't be mad. A win is a win, my brother. Thank God Luke's arc is finally done, because now we get to see a fan favorite. The stylish headquarters of the fattest man in crime. Hold on, something's up. Oh no, not her. How can Black Cat be working for Kingpin? We just entered the Black Cat arc.